Hello again folks and welcome to Black Bear Outdoors. Today we've got our Beretta APX uh, front and center once again and as most of you know we have done a couple of videos with this pistol in the past. Uh, firstly we did a full review on it which we'll put a link up here for you if you haven't seen that yet and if you want to check that out. And then secondly we did a video with it showing how to properly use the factory sights on it. Uh, that we'll put uh, at the end of this video. Today however we're looking at another option. Now if you're like me and you prefer using a 6 o'clock hold or a pumpkin on a post hold, Britta does have an option for you as well. So what we did is we went out and we picked up a set of Beretta branded um, fiber optic sights, uh, with, uh, which is the fiber optic front sight uh, with uh, a set of adjustable rear sights. Now these do come in two different flavors as far as I'm aware. Uh, the type we got, which was the uh, green fiber optic two dots in the back and the red fiber optic in the front or you can get one with the fiber optic in the front that's just totally black at the back. Other than that, I can't see a real difference. Now ours we got at Stoger Canada, who's the Beretta guys over here, and I believe the guys in the States can order them directly from Beretta. All right, so what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna take a look at uh, what these sites look like, uh, what do they offer and so forth on the table, and then we'll get to the important part where we're gonna go outside uh, take it to, out to our favorite little range and uh, see if they actually work. So stay tuned. All right, folks, now that we've got the APX on the table, let's take a closer look at these sights. As you can see there, our rear sights are uh, metal constructed uh, with the two uh, fiber optics in the back, which are the green ones there and they are, like I said, fully adjustable. Now, you probably won't be able to see this on camera, but there's a tiny little screw uh, on the side there uh, that will be uh, adjusting the windage. I'm oh, sorry, yeah, the windage. And then at the top, you got your elevation one, which is a slightly bigger uh, sc screw head there, right? Shame on you, Beretta, for not including an adjustment tool. So you are gonna need a tiny set of screwdrivers to actually adjust that. The front side is also metal, but you can see it's got the uh, red fiber optic in there. And both of these are pretty much uh, dovetailed in there. So guys, I can't show you how to install these. That's against the YouTube rules, I'm afraid. However, what I can say is if you do want to change your factory sites out for these uh, adjustable sites, um, these are in really, really, really tight. So you are going to need a really good uh, sight pusher or get a gunsmith to do it for you because they are really in there. Uh, if you are a half man, half gorilla, you might get them out. But other than that, the two options I mentioned is probably your best bet. So as you can see, they look pretty good on the uh, pistol as well. I really like the green and red combo. You can pick them up pretty easily. And uh, that's pretty much what I can tell you about it on the table, guys. Now for the real test, um, let's head out over to our uh, favorite little pistol range and see if they actually work. Stay tuned. All right, folks, we're approximately 15 yards away from our target. Our first point of aim is going to be the X in the middle. And uh, let's see how we get on. Not too bad. For our next mag, uh, we're going to go for uh, the 7 on the target there. That's uh, going to be our new point of aim. Let's see if we can reproduce our results.
folks, I'm pretty happy with that. So all in all, uh, what an excellent upgrade. All right, guys, so there you have it. They performed really, really well. Um, they, the adjustments are very, very easy to make. Uh, they look good on the pistol. And even with our uh, own bulk hand loads, uh, it performed very well. I'm very happy with the groups we got out of it. And most importantly, it was uh, hitting where I wanted the bullets to go. So in my book, excellent upgrade for those of you who are like me and uh, want to be able to use a six o'clock hold. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, guys, or learned something new. And if you did, uh, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button on the next page. It's going to look like a Black Bear logo. Um, and leave us a comment down below of your experiences, perhaps. Uh, those really do help us out to survive out here in the wasteland of YouTube. We're also going to be leaving some uh, links to our Instagram and Facebook pages down below if you want to follow us there, as well as Patreon. Y'all stay safe, and we'll see you next time.